and welcome back to Let's Play Max Payne. This is Execute. We're now heading to the Asgard building to say hello to our, for the first time, to our psychoptic friend, uh, Alfred Woden, I think his name is. Anytime it wants to load. Woden was waiting for me on the steps of the old building. Mr. Payne, let's go inside. The others are anxious to begin. The others? Despite the general misconception, this building actually predates the city hall by two years, thus being the oldest municipal building still in use here at the foot of the Brooklyn Bridge. No kidding. The old man played tour guide as he led me through a dark, domed hall. The answers I was after loomed large ahead. Mr. Payne, I would like to introduce you to my colleagues in what we call the Inner Circle. You've been watching too much X-Files. You have seen the files on Project Valhalla. We can fill the gaps, provide you with the information missing from those files. We were all involved in the early stages of the project during the Gulf War. What's the catch? We would very much like to blow this thing wide open, but our hands are tied. Her name is Nicole Horn. She was the key figure in Project Valhalla. When the funding was discontinued, she simply refused to quit. She knew exactly what she had in her hands. Nicole Horn is the president of Acer Corporation. She has more than half the city in her pocket. This must be kept under wraps. If you try to go public with this, we will deny any knowledge. We need you to take her out. Afterwards, we can protect you. Make all the charges go away. That was the cue for the killer suits to kick in the doors and swarm inside. Impressive floor show, but I decided to leave early anyway. It was only a one-story fall. Lucky me. Come on, Max. Jackhammer versus Colt. You could so have taken them. Well, anyway, here we are in the courtyard, I suppose. I don't, I don't know if you call this a courtyard. It's totally surrounded by buildings. I almost stumbled right into those. So if you couldn't tell by the military jargon, we've got some, here we go, more counter-terrorists to deal with. Fucking cunt shot me already. I don't believe any of the counter-terrorist guys are armed with jackhammers, which kind of sucks for me, because it means I'm going to have to be really cautious about using it. It's fine though. It's fine. As far as I know, pretty much all of them have colts, so I can use this liberally. Well, no, not all of them. There are some with shotties. Sniper? No, I, I, just a cult with a laser sight. I, I want a laser sight. Take killers, take killers. One of the monitors showed what was left of the inner circle. Oop. Yeah, nice try, fuckwit. Motherfucker. This is painkillers right here. Alright, let's have a look at this monitor. On screen, the so called corpse of Alfred Woden stood up miraculously waking from his dirt nap, looking smug among his dead pals. In the land of the blind, the one-eyed man is king. I didn't know how he'd pulled it off, but it was a pretty slick way to get out of all his promises. Most of what he had said fit too well to be a load of crap. Well, you know, Max, that's probably because he knows what he's talking about. So here's our exit sign. It's even designated by the word exit. And there's another one, but it's blocked by this asshole. It's also locked, so we're not going that way. It's like the uh, underground bunker level. If a door has a green lock next to it, you can go through it. Oh. Yeah, nice try, jackass. I'm not standing there and getting fucking molotov to the face. You even dropped a spare one for me. Thank you very much. Counter-terrorists win. Fine, fair enough. My fault. Okay, I know there is a cocksucker straight down here. Yeah. All locked. Well, only one way to go. That takes care of Mr. Molotov. Alright, asshole, come on out. I have your fucking number. Counter terrorist win. You gotta be fucking shitting me. Did that really just happen? Did I just. I got butchered by a guy with a Colt when I was pumping him full of jackhammer shots? Why didn't the door open? What the fuck? Everything was going good and now everything's going shit. It's just my fucking luck. 
Now, why the hell didn't you open? I see. So, for some reason, there's a guy behind the door now. That's not supposed to happen. H hang on a sec. Yeah, he's not supposed to be there. I, I, I think I broke the game. Maybe this will work. Alright, I'm hitting him. God, this... I feel so stupid doing this. My video, I don't want to start it again. I'm already, like, what, five and a half minutes in. For fuck's sake, what is that door made of? Okay, I'm at something of a loss here, because... I can't seem to hit him anymore with the bat, and... Any sort of explosive doesn't seem to penetrate the door. Let me rack my brain. I didn't think that would work. I don't have a choice but to bat... But to, but to have a bat. <laughs> oh, it works, cool. What the absolute fuck is going on with my game? It's broken! <laughs> oh lordy lordy. Okay, if it wants to be broken, I'll play its game. Alright, motherfucker. You standing at the door? Oh, you're not. Oh, under that Molotov like a boss. Right. You. Stop laughing at me. Yes, it's opening. And you didn't get the Molotov off. You know, in fact, you know what? Right, moving on. When in doubt, M79 out. It's the new rule, I suppose. I'm never gonna get past this fucking room, am I? <laughs> Zen calm. Clear blue ocean. Blue ocean will piss! Here, have a present. But you obviously don't like Christmas then. I say as I'm recording this at the end of friggin' May. Can I progress now? How long have I been here? Like four minutes or something? Alright, moving up in the world, literally. Whew, that's fortunate. Price is right, come on down. See you later, guy. Anyone else? Nope, just him. Alright. Moving on up in the world! None of that. Fucking somebody must have got in touch with these guys, told them my one weakness, grenades. Who am I who am I kidding? I got lots of weaknesses. I haven't seen any barrels on this level yet. Alright, everything's locked except for this way. Ah, cubicle farm. Painkillers which you surprisingly don't need. Next take one. I don't I don't actually remember this cubicle farm. Oh wait, yes I do. That slat over there is going to fall and there's going to be a prick behind it. I know he's there. And he shot me anyway, what a cunt. Oh, good thing I didn't need those painkillers because I could use them now. Fuck, I'm amazed that Max didn't like stumble over his own fucking trousers there. Fall blindingly into the friggin' laser. That would be just my luck and there's more lasers. Fun. God. Damn, the cold hits me so damn hard. Ah, radio. And what is your answer to those saying that he's actually providing a service long overdue to the city? This crusade nonsense has gone too far. He's out of control. It must stop. He will be stopped. That was Deputy Chief Jim Rivera from the New York City Police Department. Alright, let me think about this. I recall seeing one ghetto bird and like a team of four SWATs that's about all he's done. He was eating donuts, I suppose. 
Okay, why this worker had an M79 in his cubicle, possibly her cubicle, is beyond me. Let's not question that, let's just proceed. I almost fucking walked into that one, nice try game. Nope, contact. When in doubt, Ingram's out. No, the Ingram's a fucking outdated at this point, it's just bringing the cold out. Who needs bullet time? Just fucking run out and guns blazing. Okay, I'm a sport for choice here. A videotape lay on the desk. Nicole Horn had blackmailed the inner circle into silence. The tape came with a curt extortion note on a piece of expensive paper. I remembered Candy Dawn taping her clients in action on the side, selling the tapes to the highest bidder. I was sure the kinky sex was nowhere near Alfred Woden's worst sin. But I had a feeling that when this was over, any collateral would come in handy. Good old VHS tapes. Alright, if memory serves, there is a big secret in this room. Why is a picture of the Don's wife there? Yeah, maybe it's not this room, maybe it's one of the... Let's progress. Woden had left me a present. Woden had taken care of my mission preps with military precision. The critical areas in the Acer Corporation headquarters blueprints were circled in red. The president's office was at the top of the building, right below her penthouse suite. The elevators were controlled by a security computer, part of the mainframe located underground below the building. The high-rise was sealed as tight as a sci-fi fortress. Well, just get, just get one X-wing and there you go. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Fucking shut up, t not don't watch the damn TV. Nothing seems to stop Acer Corporation's phenomenal victory march. Incredibly, the stocks are still rocketing. Worried experts already see a danger in the company's success. Some have gone as far as to say that Acer Corporation is about to become an even bigger monopoly than Microsoft ever was. <laughs> nice censor, nice, nice censoring there. I wonder what company that could have been. Where is this fucking secret? Oh wait, I think it's this picture. Yeah, I was right. Oh, there's actually shit in that cupboard. What does this button do again? Uh... Oh wait, hang on. Right, right, it lifts the sofa. Alright, what do we have here? We've got a, um... We've got Afro Moon's little personal crib. Big ass TV. What's in this cupboard? What has been seen cannot be unseen. That was some seriously kinky shit in there, S and M gear. Well, what can I say? Look at Max's standard squinty expression. He seems well pleased with his discovery. Shit needs to be burned, Max. Why are you even thinking about that? God damn your Colts! Well, at least my Colt is just as powerful. Nice try, game. Moving on. Go, go, go! You fuckers have nothing on my cleanup crew. Don't shoot the walls anywhere near often enough. Uh, I've already been out here. Oh, company. Max would have just broken his jaw on that rail, but let's ignore that. Sniper do this guy out. Headshot. Perfect. Alright, anyone else in here? Yep. Oh boy, it's actually a couple of them. Take two of that. Fucking clean up crew's got nothing on me. Look at me plastered the door with ammunition. And him plastering the roof. We have a potential candidate for the cleanup crew now. Oh, this little fucking piece of shit. I need a res. So what do we got? We got three on my floor and one down below. Unless I'm missing one. <laughs> I'm thinking. 
<clears throat> I'm thinking I might need a change of tactics. I think I just successfully used a grenade. He's still shooting the ceiling. I guess it looked at him funny or something. Alright, that's just fucking! I'm the wooter of Jick Dusters here, I should be doing this no problem. One down. Don't shoot me in the ass. Damn it! Blue for real in the video once again. God, this video has been full of fail. I hope you guys enjoy. Damn it! Fuck! I don't know why, but this guy down here is a friggin' dead eye. If I step over the balcony, he's gonna kill my ass. Nope, oh, now's my chance. Gotcha, bitch! No idea who those pompous bureaucrats are. Great, so I didn't even need to come into this room at all. Wonderful. What the fuck am I? Uh, not this way. Best movie ending ever? Huh. Wait, no, come back! Fuck! I want to hear what the best movie ending ever was. Tell me! Fucking tell me what the best movie ending ever is or I'll fucking shoot your- Oh. I guess we'll never know. Mr. Anderson, welcome back. Wow, that was like the most non-threatening Agent Smith in this game ever. Okay, this is gonna call for some uh, grenade dumping. Hang on a sec. I should have enough. Just put one here. Two for one, not a bad deal. Okay, there's more of them. One here. Fuck are you still on the wall? What, you're offended by that tiny little fucking piece of wood? Nah, whatever. Well, that's actually the end of this level, so thanks for watching. This has been Execute. See you guys next time.